So believe it or not, this downward spiral actually starts with the building of Steel Curtain. Kennywood's newest roller coaster, arguably Kennywood's best roller coaster, although I can't tell you that because of things never open, but we'll get to that later on in the video. But this starts with the building of Steel Curtain in 2019. You might be asking yourself, JD, what are you talking about? How does Kennywood's downward spiral begin with the addition of a brand new coaster, an awesome coaster, an elite coaster? And I'll tell you why. Steel Curtain's a great coaster. I am not trying to give off that impression. This is one heck of a ride. SNS prototype, nine inversions, huge hyper coaster, 200 plus feet tall, 75 miles per hour, over 4,000 length in track. It's one heck of a ride. An amazing ride. But this coaster has absolutely no, absolutely no business being at Kennywood Park. Absolutely no business. And here's why. Here's why. Don't click off the video. I understand this is a very unpopular opinion. And this is kind of a rant. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm going to rant about this because I'm legitimately upset about all this. And I'm not even a Kennywood season pass holder. But again, we'll get to that later. Here's the problem. Kennywood is a very traditional amusement park. It kind of has that old-fashioned aesthetic, if you will. It's not like Cedar Point. It's not like Hershey Park. King's Dominion, Carowinds, even Six Flags Parks, really. It's not like any of those parks. It's an old-fashioned, family-owned park. Sort of like Knobles in a way. kind of gives me Knobles-ish vibes, but not really. Not entirely. It's still its own complete entity. But it's an old-fashioned park. Traditional park aesthetic. So with that being said, you can expect coasters like Kennywood Hads, like old-fashioned wooden roller coasters. Maybe one exciting steel ride, which was... Fan's Revenge. Fan's Revenge fits perfect at Kennywood. Uses the terrain to its advantage. Very unique coaster to Kennywood. But Steel Kern has no business at all being at Kennywood. SNS prototype, very risky investment, $20 million. And that doesn't even go into the Steelers, the Steelers country theming. This the coaster itself was $20 million. And for a park like Kennywood, that is a huge investment. And I'm not saying I have a problem with the Steelers seeming, by the way. I want to address that now. Even though the Steelers have sucked ever since they built this coaster. <laughs> I don't have a problem with them theming rides to the Steelers. I actually think it's kind of cool and unique. Although the theming's not for me, but I think it's really cool that Kennywood's partnering with their local football team. I'm sure the locals love it. I'm talking about the coaster itself, the SNS coaster. This thing was a prototype, the first kind ever built. And it, we, we all know what happens with prototypes. Heck, I've seen it firsthand with Skyrush at my own home park. Prototypes are notorious for having lots and lots of issues. And guess what Steel Kern at Kennywood has? Lots and lots of issues. If I sound salty, that's because I am. That's because I am. Because I've been trying to go to Kennywood. I've been trying to go to Kennywood ever since the year 2017. So I finally go in 2020, over three years in the making. And months before my trip, I'm talking before the season even hit, I knew I wasn't going to be able to ride it. Because prototypes have all sorts of problems because they're first ever kind built. In 2019, Steel Kern saw all sorts of issues. It was still open here and there if you were lucky. 2019, it was still open. 2020, Silk Kern was, was open for a total of zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds in the year 2020. It was not open at all. Your newest coaster, your biggest coaster that you built in 2019 and hyping up did not open a, for a single day in the, year after its, in the year after its establishment, after its debut. And this just gets worse for Kennywood. I'm not going to blame him for this. Sure, it was a lost investment. You took a chance. Then COVID hits. Huge loss for the entire amusement industry. I'm not blaming Kennywood for this. Obviously, there's nothing they could do about it. So COVID hits. So they have a coaster that's already suffering lots of issues. And now COVID hits. They get issues with Black Widow now. Their Frisbee. That thing never opens. Steel Curtain's still down for all of 2020. Very down year for the park. And unfortunately, as I mentioned previously, this was the year I went to Kennywood. So let's talk about my Kennywood experience for a little bit here because 
I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, and every time I try to make this video, it just didn't sit right with me how I was addressing it. So I'm just going to put it in this video, because as you can tell, if you can't tell already, I, I do not have a script at all for this video. Unfiltered content here. Hashtag unfiltered content here. Comment that down below. Unfiltered content. Um... So Kennywood, I actually did not mind it. I was definitely disappointed. I was very underwhelmed by my visit. Part of that was due to me being salty about Seal Kern, and part of it was that this trip, I've been, for a multitude of reasons, uh, this trip couldn't happen for many years, just because of either weather or a series of unfortunate events. So in 2020, I was finally able to go. I was very underwhelmed by, by uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt was very disappointing. I found the shin guards on Skyrocket to be worse than the restraints on Skyrush. That's right, I said that. The shin guards on Skyrocket are worse than the thigh crush restraints. I've run Skyrush well over 100 times now. Um, but regardless, still a decent park. It's still, I'm not saying Kenwood's a bad park. It's still a great park for what they offer. Even though I was somewhat disappointed, that's fine. That, that is what it is. So let's just reset the stage here. Here's where we're at. So we're at a park that's... That's losing money because they had a huge investment, then COVID hit, and then the coaster that was supposed to get them a lot of money can't open. Lots of very down year for Kennywood. I don't know the official numbers, but I'm predicting 2020 was a very down year for Kennywood. So what happens next? Well, we go into the off season, of course. And this is the kicker. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. After the season... Kennywood announces four classic attractions will be leaving. The Kangaroo, Paratrooper, Bay and Curve, and Volcano. Volcano, I can understand it's an enterprise. They're kind of rare anymore. But Kangaroo, Paratrooper, Bay and Curve, all extremely rare attractions. And let's go back to Kennywood's aesthetic. What's Kennywood known for? What are they known for? Their traditionalness, being the old-fashioned park. What do old-fashioned parks have that no other parks have? These old classic rides, especially Kangaroo. Kangaroo hurts the most out of all these for me. And I'm not even a Kenny Wood season pass holder. I'm not even that big of a Kenny Wood fan. But it hurts. It hurts. Heck, their mascot is Kenny Kangaroo. Their mascot's Kenny Kangaroo. And they're going to close the Kangaroo. They're going to close the ride their mascot's named after. So, they're losing their park aesthetic. They're losing the park's charm. These are the rides that makes Kingwood what it is. It gives Kingwood that vibe. Where else can you go on a ride called the Kangaroo where you go in a circle and you have an amazing pump of air time? Nowhere else. Bay and Curve, one of the last rides of its kind, but rumor has it that Knobles is buying it, and thank God it is because Bay and Curve is going to be an amazing fit at Knobles, and it doesn't have to associate itself with Kingwood anymore. So it, it's just an awful situation. Awful situation. So you're already losing your charm with the building of Sealer's Curtain. You're losing your charm even more with the removal of these four unique rides. What's Kenny Wood's identity? Please tell me in the comments down below. I have no idea what this park's identity now is. Are you trying to become a, a roller coaster? Are you trying to become like a Cedar Point, a Hershey Park, where you're based off of roller coasters? I don't think so, because you guys don't have the budget for that, because it just came out the other day from my guy Luke and from WNY Coasters, that Palace Entertainment may have to close Kenny Wood's sister park, Idlewood, because of lost funds. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So we have a park that's losing money in rides. The, the rides that they are introducing aren't working. Everybody's unhappy. And again, I'm not even a season pass holder. I've been watching a lot of Kenny Wood YouTubers who are very upset. I've seen the Instagram comments. I've seen it all. I mean, this is just awful. This is an awful, awful situation. And to be honest, I don't see Kennywood's future or direction right now. I have no idea what they have planned. And to be honest, if I was if I was a Kennywood fan, I would get a whole group of season pass holders and buy the park off Palace Entertainment. Because I don't think they have any idea what they're doing. I really don't. I'm I'll, As much as I love how unique Steel, Steel, Steel Curtain is, and excuse me for stumbling over my words, I'm just going off right now. As good as Steel Kern is, that ride should have never been built. I agree. Kentwood needed a new coaster. But it shouldn't have been a prototype. They should have picked a coaster that has already been built and has proven to be reliable. There is no reason for them to build a prototype. And look where we are now. We have a coaster that's not set to open. Who knows when it's going to open. We have removal of rides. 
it's 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 just a very bad situation. It, it really is. If I was a season pass holder, the anger I would have right now would be indescribable. That my 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 video would get demonetized from how angry I would be. I I wouldn't I I wouldn't be able to support the park. If I was, if I was a Kenwood season pass holder, a Kenwood regular, I would have a very hard time going to the park because by going to the park, you're endorsing the park. You're saying thank you. We love what you do here, and we're gonna give you our money. I would have a hard time doing that. I, I really would. I really would. And I have no plans to go to Kenwood anytime soon. And um, even if I did have the opportunity to go there, I mean, I'd probably still take it. I am a coaster enthusiast after all. But reluctantly, I would take it. So so what do we do now? What, 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 what do we do now? And here's the other side of this, because look at me. I'm a first-time visitor to Kenwood, and this is what I see. What else am I supposed to make of this? Just put put yourself in my shoes. I went to Kenwood for the first time in 2020, and this is what I saw. Well, what else am I supposed to make of this? What am I supposed to make of this? Like, seriously, Chris Hansen, take it away. What am I supposed to make of that? What am I supposed to make of this? I, I really don't know. I really don't know. So, I Paul, if Kennywood's your home park, I'm not trying. I understand uh, it looks like I think Kennywood's the worst thing since short peppermint patties. But I, 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 I'm going on a rant. I'm probably overreacting a little bit. Um, Kennywood can turn this around. That's a good. That's a good part to this. Although it looks really bad right now, and they literally removed the ride that their mascot's named after, one of the oldest rides of its kind. They can still turn around from this. They can get Steel Curtain up and running, make it a reliable coaster. Maybe they can purchase some old, unique, old rides. So hopefully they can turn this around. But for right now, the end might be near for Kennywood. The end could be near. Palace needs to turn it around right here, right now. And I, I'm, I'm praying that they will. I'm hoping that they will. If you're a Kenwood season pass holder, please, please comment down below. I'd love to chat with some of you guys and see what you guys think of all this. I, I apologize this video is coming out way after this news was put out, but I really wanted time to comprehend. And these are, these are my true, genuine thoughts. If these are unpopular opinions, if this video gets a lot of dislikes, that's fine. I can live with that. I'm being genuine. I'm being genuine. So, Kenwood, if you're watching this, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, and I hope Hershey Park never has this series of unfortunate events because I don't want to see this happen to my second home. But, but yeah, that, that that's that's where we are right now. We have a park that's removing classic rides, building new rides that aren't open. We have what Black Widow, Steel Steel Curtain. So I don't know. Everyone's unhappy. I'm unhappy. You're unhappy. It's it's not good. But like I said, Palace can turn us around, and hopefully they will. These are just my thoughts. What your guys' thoughts are on the future of Kenwood? Am I overreacting? Are they going to be A-OK, -okay, or is there a legitimate concern? Talk to me in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys like these kind of videos where I don't have anything scripted, and I literally just turn on my microphone and record, let me know in the comments down below. I would definitely like to do more of these if you guys were a fan. With that out of the way, if you are new here, please subscribe. I make a bunch of Hershey Park content, and I'm actually starting to branch out. This is my first video that really wasn't about Hershey Park in a long time. So we might start making me more of these. We'll see. We'll see how this one goes and we'll take it from there. But definitely subscribe if you're new. I greatly appreciate it. it. Helps me out so much. And if you enjoyed the video and you agree with me, drop a like as well. That'd be awesome. Comment down below your thoughts on Kenwood's current situation. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video from Hershey Act from the sweetest channel on earth. So the sweetest viewers on earth. I bid you all farewell. Have a sweet rest of your day, guys. Peace.